Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing great. So today we are going to discuss concept and sources of primary and secondary data. So this is going to be a short video with detailed explanation. So let's start with the video. So first we should know what is data. So data are special type of information generally obtained through observation, surveys, inquiries or are generated as a result of human activity for the purpose of research. For example, data collected for elections like how many members are above 18 in your house or another example could be new companies for the service product trial. So these are the types of data. So there are two types of data, primary data and secondary data. And primary data is those data which are collected for the first time and thus happen to be original and character and, and known as primary data. मतलब ये data पहली बार collect किया गया है, इसका पहले कहीं पर भी record नहीं है, तो इस data को primary data कहते हैं. Then uses and advantages of primary data. First could be original and independent collection increase the authenticity of data. It is also reliable. Use in both quantitative and qualitative research methods. Another advantage is hidden information can be collected through primary data. And after analyzed, primary data can be used as secondary data. So that basically means you can trust the primary data because you have first hand collected it by yourself. You don't and that is also reliable data. But there are some disadvantages of primary data these are reliability depend on respondents information accuracy matlab that the respondent have to be honest with you ho sakta hai wo apna sahi jawab nahi de raha ho aapko second disadvantage is information can be bias third expensive and time consuming in nature and fourth is requires field work. Matlab, aapko ghar ghar ja ke data collect karna padega. So, that requires a lot of work. Then, there are two methods for collecting primary data. Quantitative and qualitative. So, quantitative say, you can see that quantity means numbers. So, it is based on mathematical calculations using various formats like uh, close-ended questions, correlation and regression methods, mean, median or mode measure. So this is quantitative. Then the second is qualitative. So it does not involve any mathematical calculations. The qualitative data collection method includes interviews, questionnaires, observations, case studies, etc. And basically qualitative data is only used in the market, in the companies. So there are several methods to collect this type of data, the qualitative data. First is observation method, second is interview method, third is questionnaire method and fourth is schedules. So first observation method is used when the study relates to behavioral science, observing the behavior, when you are observing the behavior of the person you are taking responses from. So this method is planned systematically. The different types of observations are structured and unstructured observation, controlled and uncontrolled observation, participant, non-participant and disguised ob observation. So it depends on the way you are taking your data. Second method is interview method, the method of collecting data in terms of verbal responses. And there are two types of interview method, personal interview or telephonic interview. Personal interview is like when you are going for an interview to get a job, that counts in personal interview. And when that person, the interviewer is contacting you through phone, that is telephonic interview. So personal interview, interviewer is required to ask question face to face to other person. It can be structured or unstructured. Direct investigation or focused conversation, etc. Telephonic interview, interviewer obtains information by contacting people on the telephone. So, telephonic matlab telephone, personal matlab face to face. Then third method is questionnaire method. In this, the set of questions are mailed to the respondent. They should read, reply and subsequently return to the questionnaire. A good survey should have the following feature. First, short and simple. Should follow a logical sequence. 
अवॉइड टेक्निकल टर्म्स मतलब द टर्म्स शुड नॉट बी ट्रिकी एंड इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड फोर दिस शुड हैव गुड फिजिकल अपीरेंस सच एज कलर क्वालिटी ऑफ द पेपर टू अट्रैक्ट द अटेंशन ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्डेंट वेन यू आर applying for something and when you are go, uh, going to answer some questions you want that sheet to be presentable and that sheet to look beautiful in front of you then only you are attracted towards it and wants to answer the questions right then the fourth method is schedules this method is similar to the questionnaire method with with a slight difference so in this method enumerators are appointed and they explain the aims and objects of the investigation to a respondent enumerators should be trained to perform their job with a hard work and patience so this is all about the primary data now comes the secondary data collection so it is a data collected by someone other than the actual user it means the information is already available and someone analyzes it it includes magazine newspaper books journals etc it may be either published data or unpublished so this is type this secondary type basically means you have not collected your, the data by yourself in primary data you go to the field and collect your data for yourself but in secondary you take the data available somewhere else like from newspapers the books the journals etc so published data are available in resources like government publications public records historical and statistical documents business documents technical and trade journals and unpublished data includes diaries letters unpublished biographies etc and the uses and advantages of secondary data are that these data can be quickly manageable and these are cheaper and less time consuming because you don't have to go to the field and ask each and every person information available is already analyzed by the experts and field work is less but there are some disadvantages too no standard measurement of validity you cannot rely on that data need expertise accuracy and reliability is always lesser than the primary data so in this video we have discussed data and the two types of data primary and secondary and then their advantages and then their disadvantages then we discuss their methods or sources of collecting data and we also discuss four types of qualitative data which are questionnaire schedules and interview method observation methods so that's all for today's video i hope you guys like it if you guys like this video then please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have any doubts then please ask us in comment section thank you so much for watching